speaker roles are really important in a debate because they provide a beginning, a middle and an end to the debate. Something that distinguishes debating from informal arguments is that debating actually has a structure, much like an essay. So it's really important that the first speaker provides an introduction, the second speaker expands on many of those ideas, and the third speaker summarises the entire debate. The first speaker in a debate has a very important job in making sure that they set out all the groundwork for the debate nice and neatly so that the rest of the debate can occur. For the first affirmative speaker, this means defining the debate and explaining what all the words in the topic mean. It also includes things like having a model and having a scope for how wide the debate is set. For the first negative speaker, it's really important to establish that you agree with the ground rules set by the other team and provide some immediate responses to their arguments in the form of rebuttal before presenting your own arguments. Second speakers have two main roles in the debate. The first one is rebutting the other team's arguments and then expanding on their own team's case and providing some new arguments. Both third speakers, affirmative and negative, have a similar role in the debate. This is to provide rebuttal of the other team's arguments and then a brief summary of the debate as a whole. Roughly 80% of the time should be spent on rebuttal with 20% of the third speaker's time being spent summarizing the debate. The fourth speaker in the debate, also known as the team advisor, has a very important role tracking the debate. This is so that the first, second and third speakers can constantly reference what was said in the debate and write effective rebuttals.